ko taki tamu ko tainui o kui waka, ko nati kahununu ko tainui o kui iwi, ko nati kahununu ki ira taunga te wahi i te puiake ai au. Tū mai rā ko kaurāna ki te maunga, ko nāri roro mo ko tuararo ki rangatira te awaroa, mai ngā maunga ki te moana. Ko nāti hore, nāti poporo, nāti hunimanu o kui hapu, ko koe pātiki te marae ki te taha o tuku kaunga, ko tāne nui arangi te whare tipuna, ko hune ahuone te whare manaki. Ko Wayne Ormsby, rawa ko Ripika Walker o kui mātua, ko Allies Coromandel tuku ingoa. Ko Martin Coromandel tuku ingoa, ko a whānau mai au ki ahi te reiria, i ngari i tupu ake au ki māmere, ki ahi para hoki, nō te pātū te taitokarau taku whaia, nō reira, he tino i amo, Taku Tamariki Tanga, no aku kau mātua rātou, ko aku mātua me Taku Tamariki Tanga te nuinga o Taku Hiringa. Ko te aroha ki uta, ko moehau ki waho, ko waihau rawa, ko ohine muri ngā awa, ko tikapa te moana, ko tainui te waka, ko paua whanaunga te whare tupu. Ko whare kawa te marae, ko ngāti whanaunga te iwi, ko ngā uri o tū te hapu. In 2017, we had an idea. We were looking at starting an eyelash business because my wife was hapu with our pepe, so uh, we wanted to earn uh, some extra income. We had no experience or an idea of where to start, we weren't too sure. And so we did little webinars online and we watched YouTube to learn more about how to start an online business. So we created a business plan for our eyelashes, but soon realised we didn't have enough money to start our eyelash business. So we had to come up with another business idea to build up money for our eyelash business. We found dropshipping in Amazon, so we attempted to dropship everything and anything. It was a complete disaster. The customer waited six weeks for their product to arrive. We went searching for another idea and we found an eyewear manufacturer and we pitched them out an idea and so we spent $350 on our samples and we were in awe of the quality and so my wife said to me, what if we put Māori designs on them and PowerShell? And that idea blew my mind. It was unique and it was very creative. And so we had to scrap the original idea of the eyelash business because we were so uh, passionate about this idea. And so we had to ask ourselves, how do we compete against other sunglass companies? We have no chance. So we thought of the people that we would serve. We thought to ourselves, how can we serve the people of product unlike anything they've seen before? We created concepts and validated the product using Facebook groups. One in particular was Kiwis in Brisbane. We sold some and grew a regular customer base. Our designs kept flowing and we got better at solving a lot of problems along the way. Actually one of those problems was trying to figure out how to get our Māori designs or our Polynesian designs onto our glasses um, and that took us about 12 months to perfect. We used our life experience and passion for our culture to connect to our audience and grow our community. So since then we've started our social media channels and we grew it from zero. So now we've got over 40,000 followers in the community base uh, that are active on our social media channels. We remain consistent and hardworking and we uh, learned how to build our brand. Our designs are evolved around our family and our life experiences and our designs just got better and better. We started learning more about digital marketing strategies and self-development. We learned how to drive more traffic on our website and also marketing our brand. A lot of our motivation behind the range just grew as uh, our designs got better. And it wasn't about making money either, it was more so about sharing these amazing experiences and stories with our community. We would share how the designs were inspired by our stories of our upbringing. Stories like Tangaro, Tani Mahuta and Rangi Nui. These stories that created our imaginations as kids 
and I think that's why our online community grew and grew. They could relate to these stories. We started networking with influencers, both from New Zealand and Australia, and over the years, that's extended to uh, influencers in Hawaii and America, and most of them would help promote our brand. We became more grateful for the opportunities of growth and appreciated the hard times because there were a lot of hard times, we just didn't give up. My wife and I, we're really ambitious and we have uh, huge goals. And one of our goals is to put a million pairs of glasses on a million people. We're wanting to represent our Polynesian community in the eyewear market. We're unique in a way where we use traditional designs and traditional methods to creating our eyewear range. We merged out these unique ways in a modern way to provide high quality UV 400 lenses and also polarised options. We think of ourselves as an ordinary, hard-working Māori couple, just working to achieve our goals to provide the best opportunities for our kids. Our kids are our biggest motivation behind why we do this and why we're stuck with it. We tell stories of our upbringing through our designs and we want to create a unique Polynesian experience for you, no matter where you're from. We want to provide quality protection from the sun but want you to feel the meaning behind every pair you wear. Be connected to the stories and feel empowered. We, we are allies, are we?